Hi guys, um, thought I'd do another video on YouTube. Um, this time, well, I'm going to pretty much um, lift off from the uh, subject I was talking about before, about gang stalking. Um, I went into McDonald's a second time to have a little bite to eat. Um, this was on... Oh, I think it was a couple of days ago, had some chicken nuggets and a cheeseburger, sat myself down with a nice Coca-Cola, had a coupon for it, and um, went to sit down peacefully. All of a sudden, the place was totally empty. All of a sudden, these people started flooding in, and they started hanging around me, swearing. Um, one guy had a bike riding around, in McDonald's, no one was putting them in their place, they were very noisy, and at first it, it felt like harassment, they were standing around me um, really loudly, um, also um, someone threw stuff at me, and he, I said, what on earth are you doing, and he goes, oh, I want to get fed, I said, how on earth is throwing stuff at me going to get you fed, Oh, and he looked at me really aggressively, straight in the eyes. It's like there was nothing there at all but hatred and contempt. And this was a white, young guy. Some of them were um, black people. Some of them were white. Some of them were Polish. And some of them were Indian and Pakistan. And I got really angry. I'd had enough by then. I said, right, I'm taking this stuff with me. And they all have the same sort of mindedness where they have a hive mind. Because when I went to go out, I said to the guy, can't you see? And he was just looking away. Nobody wanted to do anything about it behind the counter. It was just dreadful. This guy was riding his bike around. This was on the bottom floor of the McDonald's in Slough. And I said, well, I'll just take my stuff with me. I've had enough of this. So I just took my stuff with me. And they were, as I turned to leave, they were all calling me a B, a C, um, you name it. And they were really being nasty and aggressive, really nasty. And they were looking at me saying, you're stupid, you're a B. Really horrible, abusive behaviour. I've never seen this before. As I say, it started a few months ago in April. This is crazy. It really is. It's got to be gang stalking. They didn't know anything about me, anything, my name, nothing. Yet they wanted to intimidate and bully me out of the place and they succeeded. And today there was an incident where I was in the post office. I went in the morning and I did my bills. And then in the afternoon, I got served by this gentleman who was the same gentleman as before. He was all right in the morning. And this guy just, um, I said, oh, can I post my, to Canada, to my aunts overseas? Because I can't afford the first class postage because everything's so expensive at the moment, you know. And he didn't seem to have any response about him at all. This was an Indian or Pakistan guy. Um, there was a Pakistan or Indian woman. These people are out of control. Um, so there was a whole queue in place. And I said, um, thank you. And then he put an airmail sticker on after I said, no, first class, can't afford it, on the package. And then I said, no, no, first class, no airmail sticker, please. Thank you. So he got the sticker. He ripped it off, nearly ripped the envelope to my calendars for my aunts. And he, he didn't know. He tore it a bit. And he goes, are you happy now? Like that. Sort of the contempt and aggression in these people is unbelievable. And then I said to him, well, not really. What the heck's your problem? And he got up off of his chair in the post office, very unprofessional, and he, he sort of waves his arms around, repeats himself several times like a robot gone wrong. The lady beside him doesn't do anything because she's the hive mind as well. And the customer beside them doesn't do anything. He's just kind of getting about his day. I don't know if he was in on it or not. 
and everyone just acted like this was normal behaviour. And you have to wonder, you know, the people in the queue did nothing about it. They said, well, hang on, this is absolutely over-the-top behaviour for someone, especially behind the counter working. And, yeah, so these assholes, I'm going to say it, assholes, are getting away with murder. Murder, literally bullying everybody and intimidating everybody in Slough. And I don't think it's just Slough. From what I, I've heard, it's going on everywhere at the moment. But Slough's pretty bad for gang stalking. What they do is they hang around in gangs. They're horrible, absolutely horrible. They are demonic, they are demons, and they all seem to have a mindset of a hive mind. They all repeat themselves. They all do exactly the same things. They don't have an original thought in their brains. And I said, I turned to the lady and I said, you're not going to get her, if you know. And she looked at me and she knew exactly what I was talking about. Like that. No expression, nothing. Disgusted at me because they're disgusted by humans, these things, these entities, these evil spirits. Just evil. I'm so upset and I'm so angry right now. I mean, it's unbelievable. You go in to post something and you come back with a load of abuse from people and nobody does the right thing and says, well, hang on, that's a bit over the top, isn't it? Because normal people don't act like that, not to mention the unprofessionalism of it. I mean, it's just unreal what's going on. Anyway, I thought I'd make a video about that, not to mention what's going on down the high street where people are getting constantly pushed and shoved by these intimidators and sworn at. Nobody does anything about it. It's disgraceful. I've never seen the human race in such a state before. I, if we can call these things human, I wouldn't, I'm sorry to say. They all seem to be aggressive narcissistic and nasty anyway guys i thought i'd you know make a video about that to vent a bit because i just feel a little bit frustrated upset and annoyed that nobody did anything about it like say well wait a minute this isn't normal this is unprofessional and the lady next to him was acting like she didn't even care she was spaced out it's ridiculous it really is Anyway, talk to you soon, guys, and bye then.